Hello. Bear with me while I try to zoom in. I don't have one of these fancy cameras where somebody sits with a wee button off, sight, off screen and presses it and the camera zooms in. I literally have to crawl around the camera. Right, um, I said to you the last time I spoke to you uh, that I had planned on doing a wee giveaway journal at some point. Um, but I was actually going to do a Make It With Moira journal so that you were part and parcel of the whole process. Um, that is still my intention, but I'm notorious for not really planning things out. So consequently, although yes, that's what I want to do, I had this overwhelming compulsion today to make a tag of some description. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make maybe two, possibly three quick tags. Um, the intention being that they will be included as part and parcel of that uh, that journal that I'm going to make. The other thing is I also plan on trying to make it with what I've got on my table as opposed to uh, you know an incredible array of, um, of goods. Now having said what I've got on my table, dear God I've got just about everything on my table. <laughs> Oh, the chances of me not being able to make something are pretty slim to be fair um, I honestly, my table is absolutely heaving with stuff um, I, I just I literally have run out of places to keep stuff and it does make life very difficult because I'm I'm crafting in a smaller and smaller environment and it happens to the to all of us uh, I know that I, I know it's not just me that this has happened to but it is it, it doesn't really make it any better it just it makes for life being really awkward. So if we could try and shift some stuff today we'll be doing really well. Right anyway let's get up and running. I was in, uh, I hate to admit this, I was in b and Bargains this morning and we were actually in looking for screws and I saw this wallpaper which is kind of teal coloured, well a couple of blue shades with some silvery background and it, it's it, the last time I was in b and Bargains uh, I, I actually overheard uh, a girl saying to her mum, do you not like this wallpaper? To which the mum's reply was, okay, it's a bit sparkly. And I felt like saying, there isn't a wallpaper in here that isn't sparkly. I've never seen so many glistening wallpapers in all my life. I don't know, maybe maybe this is the style these days and I'm really just showing my age. Um, but they are beyond description in terms of Sparkle City. Uh, in fact, there were a couple that had unicorns on them and I thought, who in God's name puts a unicorn on their wall? I suppose you might do it when you've got a wee girl, but... Ah! <laughs> you know, just... They, they were horrific as far as I was concerned. So this was the kind of... Um, this I thought was reasonable. I mean, I wouldn't put it on my wall, don't get me wrong, but I would put it in a tag, uh, especially since I know the paper I'm planning on using for doing the journal is going to be shades of blue and teal. Um, so I thought in that respect it would go quite well. Um, but I certainly, um, forgive me, I, if there's anybody out there that's watching that's going to say, but Moira, I've got that in my wall, it may well look really nice, but I just can't imagine it in mine. Uh, my middle name is Fifty Shades of Beige. I, I probably am one of the, the dullest, most boring people when it comes to decor, uh, but that's only because I've become absolutely paranoid about decorating. Um, I watched, you know, maybe about 10, 15 years ago, there was tons of decorating programmes here, and the one thing they always said was, you know, when you plan and sell in your house, keep your decor as plain as possible so that it appeals to the next person and they can decorate it in with, you know, accessories and that that is how I view life now I just keep everything as plain as as humanly possible when it comes to my home and go out and buy a couple of cushions that are bright not sparkly but bright anyway that's that's all aside we're talking about something completely irrelevant let's get into the tag um right so anyway we've got these bits of wallpaper that I've cut off still got my wee bits of lace for the other day so I can maybe use them as well got these time card things that I'm planning on using um these are ones I got on eBay and they only have writing on one side which I quite like because it means we can put the decorating on that side and use that should we want to. The thing that concerns me about these is they are quite long. Um, not entirely sure what length they are but I know they're going to be too long for one of my books. I would say that looks maybe about quite possibly eight or nine inches long uh, which is going to be way too long. So that being the case 
the old paper trimmer and it literally is the old paper trimmer when this blade goes so does the, the trimmer as far as I'm concerned I'm going to cut this to 6 inches I think and that's Timmy barking right 6 inches and that gives us a, that can be used as a wee tag at some point I think 6 inches is a reasonable enough size for a tag Timmy has probably seen a bird and I know when I'm, oops sorry didn't mean to bang camera when I'm, this one is one of the American ones and it's got writing on both sides but we'll still use it because we can still decorate it and it can just be ephemera um, when I'm watching a video and somebody's got a dog and the dog barks all hell lets loose in my house because Timmy feels compelled to respond and if Timmy responds so does Daisy and once Daisy starts so does Chip and it just goes from rack and ruin uh, right, find my little trusty tag in my drawer and cut off my corners I was having a look at my YouTube this morning and um, the giveaway is still, as I'm making this, obviously still live and uh, I've actually managed to lose subscriber subscribers uh, so I, I must be boring the pants off of some folk which, don't get me wrong, to some extent I can understand because I bore myself sometimes but, um, you know, I wasn't really expecting to turn folk away in droves but apparently uh, I am uh, I think Google Analytics have a, a lot to, to answer for, they're not the best I know for a fact that I don't always get um, all my notifications through Google. I have now downloaded, a, I think it's, is it Creator something or other, YouTube Creator or something, uh, and I'm getting, I'm getting notifications there of who's speaking to me, uh, but when it comes to Thingme, uh, YouTube, no that's not happening. Right, where are my bits of wallpaper? So we have a look at them. I thought I had three. Pretty sure I do have three, but not even. Oh, there's the third. Da -da 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 -da. Still singing fame, by the way. I think it's because I want to be famous. Right, what if we just attach that like that? And then it's kind of partial. I can't see that. Check how this sits on that. Oh, that's good. I've cut it squint. Nothing beats it. Right, we can move that down a bit. What it might actually be easier to do is to glue it and then cut it. I'm storing this upside down in the hope that I can stop the massive globules from appearing. I'm not sure it's going to work, but we'll give it a go. Um, the, the glue's still alive. I'll need to get one of my trusty white lights. 
my drippy wet wipes. I suppose uh, on the plus side, if I was advertising them, they're really quite impressive. Right, this is a washable wallpaper, so it shouldn't be an issue running over it with a thing there. Make sure I've not got tons of glue in my desk. Now, I also brought out a couple of dies to give me a chance to cut round things. These aren't going to be anything spectacular, they're not showing you anything new, they're literally just making a wee embellished tag out of a couple of things that we've all got. Um, and that would be glowy fingers. Right, I'm going to put some book page on the rest of it. Get out the fabric tank. I really haven't got the hang of this uh, doing the crafting and talking at the same time. I think I'm just used to always, I really value tremendously my peace and quiet, um, and I find disturbances drive me nuts. Although I have been able to ultimately um, tune the dogs out, I don't hear them at all. And yet my husband will go bananas when the dogs start barking, but it honestly doesn't bother me. in the desk with some images that I have at whatever point in time cut out. So I'm going to look for a pretty lady to add to this if I can find one. Now I've got, I've actually got quite a lot that's, uh, no I don't think they're going to go, they're on acetate. But I think when, there's, when the pattern behind them is too busy, it just looks as if they're really disfigured. So that's not much use to man their beast, does it? Oh, there's that pretty girl. Well, we like her. She was the one that should have been on the last tag. And the good thing is, she's got kind of blue in her dress. So I think we can easily use her in this one. Remember my name. Right, now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to cut round my lady. Do the traditional 
work a bit of distress ink on the white core of the picture. Now I plan on uh, actually putting her on a piece of black card, just mounting her like that. So bear with me a second and we'll get, I'm going to use this tacky, what is it, aliens, aliens, whatever. Um, I'm going to use that. My glue's are nearly done, I think I mentioned this the other day. But the good thing is I have bought some new glue and we can get into that soon but I'm going to use these to the death because that's what crafters do. Now your border rounder, generally speaking, you're, you're, you're okay if you make your border about a uh, I would say an eighth of an inch. I'm going to give that a wee minute to dry because if I try to cut it too soon all that's going to happen is um, I'll thing there. I'll move the picture and then you'll have a, a mark below it. Right, we'll add a wee bit of glue to the, uh, a wee bit of glue, a wee bit of uh, lace to our tag shall we? Uh, fabric tack again. When I was in the shop this morning and I was looking at the wallpaper, my husband came up to me and he says, what are you doing? And I says, well, I says, folk have started using wallpaper and junk jumbles, so I was, I was going to look at the wallpaper and uh, the roll, roll I was looking at um, not that it wasn't this one, it was another roll. I think it was, whatever it was, it was seven ninety nine for a roll of wallpaper. To which my husband replied, don't you feel that's a bit excessive? Um, and I says, aye, I says, but I'm not buying it. I says, folk come in and they have samples of wallpaper that they take away to hold against their wall. So as far as the shop's concerned, that's what I'm doing. The fact that it's going up the road to Go in a junk journal, well, you know, the only business there is mine, as far as I was concerned. Um, to which he just kind of walked away in despair, but, um, oh well, that's the way it goes. That's, that's what we're there for, isn't it? I mean, it's to... Right, wait a minute, see these scissors? If I don't move them, I'm going to have nothing but horror. Right, now the good thing about this is you can, in theory, see where you're cutting. Now, I feel a wee bit concerned about that. Right, let's hope that this gets it. You can tell just when you're listening to this blade that it's it's really... It's, it's just, it's no smooth running or anything. This was a bad buy. And let's face it, God, I don't believe it, I've managed to smear glue in this lassie again. This is a dry clear glue though, so I'm not going to overly concern myself about that. Right, um, I'm beginning to think this lassie's a fair unlucky. Right, there we go. Get the black card stock out. And get the tank. And we should put her there. Uh, use this again. Now I'm going to put a, a little down and 
not right in the centre because I think it I'll just try and make sure I've put her in straight mind you um, I just think it adds to the the look uh, the other thing I'm now going to do is put her back to front and run over it in the hope that I can uh, flatten her down with the glue She's popping up a wee bit at the bottom but that's okay just now I'll put a wee bit of weight on her Right, what I'm going to do is cut some more of this black card Right, that wee bell's just to let me know that my dinner's cooked I'll get that in a second. I have got a little heart shaped die only because I don't, I have no punches I have, well no that's not true, I do have punches but they're all kind of Martha Stewart edging punches and other than that the only other punch I've got is a circle so if I want a shape I have to cut it with a die but I did, I, I live my life like that for a reason um, I used to, when I first started making cards, I collected, I, I didn't like, I bought the, I bought my big shot and I really didn't like using it, I was, I felt awfully uncomfortable because I didn't like the noise it made, every time I used it I thought, this is breaking, uh, so I, I just shied away from using it, so I had hundreds and hundreds of punches, but the problem with punches is they take up so much room, um, so needless to say, eventually there came a point where I thought, no, do you know, I can't, I can't handle this any longer. Uh, I need to get rid of these punches. I don't think I need to overdo that. This is annoying me. Hold on a wee second. I just don't feel that's getting grabbed well enough. Uh, Got a new fabric tag that I can put on top of it to hold it down, and I'm going to put this little heart down here, and that'll be that. So at this point, I shall pause and go and put my dinner off. But I'll be back. Seriously, hold on. I am coming back to do more. Hey. I'm back. Right, sorry, I'm zooming in and out. I'm just trying to make sure you can see well enough. Um, right, what I'm going to do now that I've put the cooker off is I am going to go down the edge with a felt pen. Just making a little um, kind of dotted line that makes it look like stitching and that saves the need from having to produce the sewing machine don't get me wrong, I mean, when I go to make the journal the sewing machine's going to have to come out at some point, I know that and I'm not looking forward to the public display of my sewing because I know what I'm like and I ain't great I don't really fully understand the rudiments of the sewing machine and I'm going to show myself up somewhat but you know I suppose the whole thing about this is it proves that uh, you don't need to be an expert to craft it's things you enjoy and as long as the what you make looks reasonable enough then you want to watch. Do, 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 do.
I accept that having actually sewn round this would probably give you a much more attractive finish but not everybody is a sewing demon and in that respect I think it's useful for other folk to not feel completely and utterly helpless Right, that's us. At some point I shall put a wee hole in that and add one of the trusty uh, grommets or eyelets or whatever they're called. And that's that tag done. So let's tackle the next tag. Now, excuse me, I'm, going to, I'm planning on using that wallpaper with them all in one way or another. Um, the other thing that I wanted to do was I was going to use, I'm planning on using kids books for uh, these, uh, this journal that I'm going to do. So I've got an old storybook here. Uh, And it's really just a question of deciding which image is the best for the the book. Uh, not the book. What am I talking about? I'm just I'm I'm waffling because I'm I'm doing this and I'm looking at pictures. Right, I'm going to cut this wee picture out here. Right, we've got one image uh, and I would like to see if I can make it No I can't really, not to my satisfaction anyway so I'll just cut it using this I was going to cut it die shape because I really, I don't like cutting uh, Hold on a minute, I'm going to just make a straight edge if I can. That'll do me, I think, on the straight edge front. This is from Hansel and Gretel, this one. Uh, so they're enjoying enjoying some gingerbread by the looks of things. And again I'm gonna mount it up on black card. The good thing is the image on the other side I can probably still use. Well, I'll, I'll need to have a better look at it, but I'm thinking I can still use it. And I wanted to get something where, with a little bit of blue in it, because obviously my wallpaper's blue, and indeed my book's going to be blue. I don't think I'm going to be able to swing it that well, that everything I touch is going to be blue. Uh, but we'll see what we can do. Gretel's got a blue dress on and Hansel's got a pair of blue trousers here. Right, we'll leave that to dry while we're working on the rest of the tag. Um, this doesn't tear for loving and money enough stuff. Right, forget that. Uh, where did I put my ruler? Oh, there it is. Mm 
trying to get a straight line here. Which I don't know. What am I doing it? Oh. When I use the phrase a straight line, I mean a straightish line. Bear with me while I throw it in the floor. Alright, that'll do this. Right. Fabri-tag stuff's just beginning to annoy me. I mean, what is it all about? Trim that off now because it's overlapping. I've got a, got a wee fly flying around me as well now. Right. Where's my book page? Get the lid back on the fabric tag before it spews everywhere and then attach the bit of book page to the card. Trim off my wee excesses. And flatten it down. Right, cut out Hansel and Gretel. Didn't take long for this paper cut to just start racking up this blade. I'm really sorry, my, <laughs> uh, not my phone, my camera ran out of memory there. Um, so, where we were was I've layered up the image of Hansel and Gretel on black card again to, to add to the tag, and I've also taken a sentence from the book. I, I've actually just I've cut shortened the sentence a wee bit. Um, because it was just going to be an awful long sentence to put on the tag. Um, but what it says was basically that the witch had taken Hansel and shut him up in a stable. So we'll attach Hansel and Gretel to the tag over this side and then we'll add the words up the top somewhere.
I hadn't deleted the other uh, video from yesterday, which is why the memory on my phone was so full. No doubt by the time I finished doing this, it all have uh, decided to run out of battery, just to make everything just right. Right. So we're going to add this wee sentence at the top. I've ran round this with distress ink uh, just to make it stand out a wee bit more. And obviously you need to try and make sure you've got it Oops, nearly stuck upside down. See the only thing about that glue, that's quite a wet glue and things initially curl up, which is a wee bit of a nuisance. But that's, that's that. Uh, what I'm going to do, whoops it is it is it's a bit something this isn't going to work very well it's because the wallpaper's slippy below it so that's something on top of it while I draw my my wee line round the edge strictly speaking you don't need the ruler she said as she made a real mess up mind you if you sew the way I do it anyway it's never straight. I'm not going to bother putting any marks on that side. It's just occurred to me actually, I'll guarantee this wallpaper is going to pose a problem because it's slippy. You know, like the ink will move about on it. down. One more to go and we shall lay that. Where am I going to put this? I'm going to sit it upside down to make sure that the bits that are curling up just now as far as the, the text is concerned because it's curling up at the edge but it's only because of that glue. So I'm going to put it down face down to try and flatten it. Right, what's next? What are we left with? We're left with this and we're left with still got quite a lot of wallpaper. But I think actually what I might do instead of diving in with wallpaper is take 
take some of the book. See, I don't want to eat into that picture too much because I think, I feel that's quite a good picture to use. Uh, oh, I could still use the top, I suppose. And there's nothing, there is no rule that says it's got to come that way. And if there is a rule, I don't know it and I don't care because this is my crafting and I will do my crafting the way I want to. I'm going to have to watch that because I've kind of cut in there. Right. I don't think about it too much, just go well. Sometimes, I mean, I know, yeah, I'm meant to think these things out, but I'm a great believer in on the hoof crafting. Just go with the flow, and if it doesn't look very nice, well, you don't use it. If it looks okay, great. Take this page from here. That's quite a nice image to ultimately use as well. So, I've got a feeling if I use the one at the top, I'm going to cut off Gretel's head. So, we'll get um, this wee picture at the bottom. My wall taken out my way. There's my cutter. Oh dear. And again, we want, uh, well, I quite like mounting them up in the black card. Sorry, I've got envelopes that have fallen out my pack out there. Right, where's that glue?
is going to be a devil of a board, don't they? Cut round. This is just that way, a bit too straggly here. And we'll just pretend that that's not happening outside, right? Um, right, I'm going to use my dies to cut some of this wallpaper. Hold on. Move that out of the way. So, hoping I get this okay. And I'm actually going to forget nothing this bit. Nope, I haven't. Oh, that's okay because I've got tons of this wallpaper. I'm going to cut another bit. The tag shapes I'm using, again, not only really relevant, apart from they're just not like straightforward line or anything like that. I've got one that's a kind of ticket shape and the other one was a wee oval. Uh, so I'm going to just stick them on the cards. the ticket shaped one down the bottom. And the oval up near the top. Now my positioning of that oval would suggest that when I go to do my crocodile and my wee uh, holes, I'll almost certainly punch through it, but that's okay because I really don't like things to be too straight, if you know what I mean. Well, no, that's not true. I like things to be straight. There's nothing worse than something that looks crooked. Um, but if it looks crooked and it looks as if it's meant to be crooked, I think that's fine. I think it's... Uh, it's more pleasing to the eye. The eye doesn't look at it and think, what on earth's going wrong here? This this isn't right. And that's fine. I'm going to now I think I'll die cut a wee black heart for down the bottom. Hope you can see okay because I know my angle's changed a wee bit.
I'm going to, sorry, I'm, this is terrible. What a dreadful craft with me. Uh, because I'm stopping and I'm reading the story. But I don't want to, I mean, this, this ends with, their stepmother was dead and they had the witch's treasure. Well, that's okay, that bit. But the stepmother dead. Okay, I know she was not the nicest of people, but she's still dead. So all their cares and sorrows were at an end. Uh-huh. I think we'll forget that. And we'll find this wee sentence here. I found a sentence that looks okay. Uh, I don't think there's anything worse than um, stories. I, I mean, it's, it's funny. As a parent, okay, I know he's... He's an adult now, my son, but as a parent, I read these stories and I think, well, these were the kind of stories... I mean, this book's probably of an age that it would have been something that would have been read to me. And I read it and I think, how depressing some of this is, you know, about dead folk. Uh, I just don't understand who wrote it, you know, why make it quite so bleak? And yet, it is. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I just look for too much to be happy. Um, but maybe if things were a bit happier, and folk are kids, they won't find themselves in such a bleak environment when they get older. I mean, the other thing about doing this, the way that I'm doing, you know, when you've got a book and you're cutting it out and you decide to use the text. I mean, obviously in an ideal world, the text's big enough to be able to cut out easily because there's nothing worse than struggling around about it. But um, if you can cut the text out and add it, there's nothing to say that you need to put it the way it's been written. You can, you can do it anyway. You know, just take random words if you feel like it. Need extra glue there. Where's my lid and my There is an itty bitty part of this overhanging which is really annoying me. And that's us. I think that will do this. Um, try and move things out of the way so that we can try and have a look at what we've actually made here. Listen, I'm really sorry because this is, I've managed to make this, I hope to goodness if I'm doing this craft with me and making a book, I handle it a bit better than this. Uh, because this did not go anywhere near as well as it should have. Right, so there we go. We've got three tags made that involved the wallpaper and book pages. Um, first with a pretty girl image. So, you know, not entirely relatable to what I'm planning the book to be, but having said that, I don't think the, the pretty girl thing goes wrong. 
um, and the other two are taking parts of Hansel and Gretel. The whole book isn't going to be Hansel and Gretel, it'll be other uh, kids' stories as well as this. Um, but that's it. So I will be putting uh, the crocodile holes in them uh, and that'll be that. That with those tags made. So uh, thanks very much for bearing with me there. I know that was torment during part of it because of the length of time it took but um, crafting crafting's not that quick sometimes. Anyway, thanks very much for your time. I shall see you all again in the very near future. Uh, quite probably tomorrow. I wonder by which time how many more viewers will I have lost and subscribers. Oh well. Anyway, those that stick with me, thanks very much. Those that go, see you later alligator. See you guys. Bye. Bye.